Hey guys, how's it going? So today I've got a really cool fruit to share with you all. These are called Siphomandra fragrans. They're also known as guava tamarillos from what I found online. And they are a really cool fruit. I actually only learned about them about a week ago and someone very kindly sent me some of them. So but I'm excited to show you guys these and share them with you and also have a go at growing them from seed that we get out of these fruits. So we'll get into the growing side of things later on in the video and I'll do a follow up at the end of the video as well to show you how the plants turned out and if they grew. These are actually related to tamarillos, so they are in the same family as them. They're not like a guava, they are a tamarillo. Quite small in comparison, like I've done videos of tamarillos before, also known as tree tomatoes, and you'll see the size of those fruits are pretty decent really in size. These are a bit more of a snack size, but still really, really cool little fruits. So I'll cut one of these open and we'll have a bit of a look. Fire out. These are awesome, man. Check those out. You can see they've got a look just like a tamarillo on the inside. As for the smell, they smell like green kiwi fruit. They've got a really, really strong aroma to them. I'll give it a taste. I did try one of them earlier and they don't really scoop out with a spoon. They're quite hard. They're a bit different to a normal tamarillo. But yeah, we'll have a go. Mm. I actually really like the flavor. The guy that sent them to me sort of said that they're not like hugely worth growing for the fruit. But for me, I actually really like them. They do taste a bit like green kiwi fruit, like the smell but they taste like passion fruit and tamarillo mixed together to me. They're quite tart, but if you like kind of soury fruits, then you'll probably quite enjoy these. But they're not like really intensely sour. They've got a really nice kind of passion fruit taste to them. I reckon they'd be like a real good novel fruit to just grow and have in your garden and just kind of snack on as they, as they ripen. I'm very, very excited to have a go at growing these. So I'm just gonna scrape some of the seeds out of these fruits, rinse the flesh off using a sieve, and then just chuck them onto a paper towel to dry. So in these pots, I've just got some seed raising mix, and this is usually best to use with such small seeds because it makes sure that the seed has full contact with the soil. I'm just watering the soil before I plant the seeds because if I do it afterwards, they're more likely to get washed around in the pot. So I've got five seeds here and I'm just gonna carefully place them on the top and then give them a bit of a sprinkling with some soil, making sure I don't plant them too deep and then just give them a bit of a spray with some water. It's mid spring at the moment, so I'm gonna be placing these seeds inside because it's still a little bit too cold outside to get seeds going. Okay, so four out of the five seeds have sprouted. They're looking really good, nice and healthy. You can see these little hairs up the stem and on the leaves. These are actually called trichomes and they act as a physical barrier to protect the plant from insects and from the elements. So if you are handling these plants when they're young, it's actually, well, it's actually best not to handle them. Um, because you can really easily damage those trichomes. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this plant progresses and hopefully we'll get some good growth in the next few weeks. So the guava tamarillo seeds are growing well and you can start to see what their leaves are going to look like as well. They'll probably get a bit bigger than this, but you can sort of see their shape. They're looking pretty good. And the fifth seed is actually just sprouted, but it's way behind the others. But it just shows that, you know, make sure you be patient with these if they don't sprout straight away. Some of them can take a bit longer than the others. So with the pot that has three plants in it, they're sort of starting to overcrowd each other. So I'm gonna just carefully transplant them into their own individual pots. I'm doing my best not to touch the plant too much. And I'm also just making sure I take some of the original soil with the roots of each plant so that they can easily adapt to being transplanted. I'm just using some regular potting mix and then I'll just obviously give them a good water and they should be absolutely fine. But anyway, I'll see you guys in a little while once these plants have put on some good growth. All right, so this is how the plants look now and they're looking awesome. As you can see, they're really glossy leaved plants and those trichomes have become a lot less obvious. You know, those little hairs, they've started to kind of disappear now. And one thing that has happened with these plants is they did get quite a lot of white fly on them. And so I have dealt with that now. Basically, all I've done is just sprayed some water on them to get the white fly off and then sprayed some neem oil on them. I have had to do it a couple of times to get rid of the whole life cycle of those white flies, but you know, they seem to be kind of susceptible to them and the white flies love them, but that neem oil seems to be doing the trick for now. So hopefully that kind of holds them back because having white flies and other pests can actually bring in disease and really affect your plant. I have had to just stake them up a little bit. This is just a really thin bamboo stake. So it's just providing a little bit of support because they are quite flimsy plants, um, especially because these have been grown indoors. So I've been slowly increasing the amount of wind I expose them to, and they are kind of responding by thickening up in the trunks and that kind of thing. So yeah, really stoked with how these are all looking. And the amazing thing about these plants is they can actually fruit within about two years from seed. And that's the same as tamarillos as well. So yeah, I'm excited to hopefully share some flowers and some fruit with you guys 
and show you kind of what they look like sometime in the near future. These plants as well are supposed to be more robust and have a smaller stature than other tamarillo trees so you can grow them as more of a shrub and that means you can also grow them in containers from what I've read. There is pretty limited information about these plants online but people do seem to say they can grow them in containers so I'll probably give that a go and see how that turns out and I'll put some in the ground as well in a nice protected spot. And you know these plants are super ornamental as well. They look awesome with all their little gold fruits hanging onto them and when they're flowering as well they have really beautiful flowers. So yeah, quite a cool plant, certainly something I've never seen before, hopefully something new to you guys as well. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and if you have any questions, leave a comment as well. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you guys want to see more content from me as well, I do post over on Facebook and over on Instagram quite a lot, so if you want to see more from me, go and check me out over there. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next YouTube video, and have a good rest of your day. Alright, bye guys.